Uh, my name is Niren Chaudhary. I work for uh, Yum Restaurants, uh, which is the parent company for great brands like Pizza Hut, KFC, Taco Bell. I've been with the company for uh, over 18 years. And uh, no, I'm not that old, uh, as Chetan was alluding. Um, so I've been with the company for about 18 years, worked in different parts of the world, but I have to say I came back to India about five years ago, and this has been the most incredible phase of my working life, indeed, the purple patch. And I really believe that all of us are here in India at a unique moment in time to do something extraordinary. And we can do that extraordinary by thinking big and acting fast, which indeed is the theme of this Congress. So I'm gonna uh, share my thoughts uh, in three parts. First, give you in context of the India opportunity. What does that really mean for the restaurant business? Then I will talk about the importance of thinking big and the importance of acting fast to make good on this incredible opportunity that we have. So first, the India context. Well, as we all know, there are clear headwinds to growth. The global slowdown continues. There is a standstill on policy, and there are very severe structural and fiscal challenges and a high inflationary environment. I think we all recognize that. However, I have to say that the macros continue to be hugely loaded in India's favor. And let me share with you three reasons why I believe that I continue to be and optimistic on the India growth story. First one, youngest country in the world, more than 70% less than 30 years of age, which means that we will, in the next few years, have the largest and the youngest workforce in the world. What that means is that there will be enough capital and labor available that will continue to drive economic growth. Also, the youth in India are over-indexed on literacy, and that means that the youth will continue to aspire more, demand more, and want more, and eat more. So that is pretty good. The second reason to feel optimistic is the rapid pace of urbanization. We will have more than 65 cities with over a million people. That is simply gigantic transformation that is happening that is also in turn going to drive consumption, in particular, food consumption. And finally, in India, unlike in China, domestic consumption is what drives the economy, and therefore, the Indian eco economic growth is likely to sustain even in the face of a global slowdown. And therefore, reasons to be optimistic about the India growth story, and then if you ladder on to that the fact that we are the largest democracy in the world, the fact that we have independent judiciary, and most importantly, a free press, I continue to be hugely optimistic about the future of our country. Yes, there are some headwinds, but I think the underlying microeconomic environment is just overwhelmingly positive. I think even the most pessimistic pundits would say that we will grow between five to six, and the most optimistic would say we'll grow between eight to nine, and happy to take any number in the middle, given the overall current environment. So I would say great time to be in India, and an incredible opportunity to build a business, particularly in the restaurant area. So let's look at moving down from the economy to the food service business.